How's it going, everybody? So uh, today I'm going to be talking about the new album from the band My Own Ghost. Uh, the name of this album is Shadow People. Now, uh, I'm going to try changing up my format just a smidge uh, for these album thoughts videos. They've been really starting to run pretty long, uh, so I want to make them a little bit more palatable and try to keep them under 15 minutes because some of them are starting to push 30 minutes and that's just too much. Nobody wants to sit there and listen to all that. So uh, I'm not really going to go song by song anymore like I used to, just give a broad overview um, and then my thoughts on how I feel about the album and I think that should be sufficient. But uh, yeah, so uh, you all know it by now. Before I get into that nitty gritty though, uh, let's check out the cover. So boom, there it is. I dig this cover. I dig it. It looks really, really cool. This neon city and all that. And, even with like the, the logo up there, the My Own Ghost, it just kind of like gives me like Ghost in the Shell kind of vibes. Uh, so, or, or even, um, uh, what's it called, Blade Runner. And, you know, that, that kind of thing. Uh, almost like this futuristic kind of city that's very neon, very bright. Um, although, you know, Blade Runner's, you know, pretty dark. But, you know, there's there's places where the buildings have a lot of neon and, and stuff like that. But anywho, that's that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I, I like the cover. It, it kind of catches your eye. It, it kind of makes you want to look at it, you know, closer. Uh, the colors are nice. So yeah, I, I dig the cover for sure. Now, does the cover give you a good impression on what to expect on the album? Like if you're at the record shop and you see this album, you never heard of them before, you see this cover, what does it make you think of, um, like musically? I don't know. Um, you know, it, it, it's a little vague um, as far as giving you what impression uh, the music is. But at the end of the day, like once you've heard the album, like the cover definitely makes sense. Uh, it definitely captures that that vibe. But if you if you hadn't heard it before and you see this cover. I don't know, you know, it could be some kind of like electronic music, um, it, it could be some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, the metal core with some like electronic, inf I feel like the electronic vibes really, really uh, come out and it's not really an electronic album, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I'm iffy, I'm iffy on that, you know, I don't, I don't think you would see this and necessarily know exactly exactly what to expect on the album so yeah I'm iffy on that side but as far as the the look the aesthetics uh, of, of the album cover yeah I like it, it looks nice uh, definitely catches the eye you know if you're looking through some albums like oh what's this uh, but I feel like you'd have to google the band just to be like oh let, let's see what style this is just so I know uh, but uh, anywho Aside from that, let's talk about the album itself. Bad Boy's got 13 tracks on here. It comes in at about 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a very, very curious um, album, in my opinion. I liked it. I, I, I liked it. I really did. But he, he, so it, it starts out, it's just it's a little hard to explain like the, the sound and the style of, of the album. So I'll, I'll kind of just talk about it in parts um so it, it starts out you know I, i'd say tracks one through uh four uh really start out with more of like a, a melodic rock melodic hard rock you know 80s kind of style sound um uh, with, with uh just with the guitars and with the the synth the, the keys and all of that and, and uh the energy, it just really has that sound of, of that like kind of 80s melodic rock um, sound. But once you hit track five, then suddenly it, it kind of gets more of like a, a melodic uh, pop metal kind of sound. So, and then from there it kind of shifts, you know, kind of swings back and forth. Sometimes you get a little bit more of that 80s melodic rock hard rock sounds, sometimes you get a little bit more of that melodic metal sound with, with pop influences, and sometimes you get a lot more of the, the some of the songs are, are very poppy, um, uh, you know, like a melodic rock slash metal pop, 
uh, sound. So, you know, it, it kind of fluctuates as it goes. It, it just the way it begins, like I said, tracks one through four, that's not the way that it's going to sound all the way through. You know, it, it kind of varies as it goes. So, so some of the sound, like you get like a melodic uh, rock, and it's done really, really well, uh, really, really well um, with the guitars and, and just the energy and, and with the keys, um, the synth, and the vocals. Uh, she does a really great job of capturing the, that spirit and, and whatnot. So uh, I really like that is very melodic that's one thing i can say about this album very catchy very this album is very easy to listen to it's never like in your face it, it just has a, a nice melodic quality a, a nice you know when i say easy listening i don't mean like like truly like the genre of easy listening music but it, it is very easy to listen to um I can't really say the album's like symphonic metal um, because it, it's not. Uh, like I said, the best way I can describe it is it's, uh, you know, they, they have some melodic rock 80s style songs on here, which really capture that, that vibe um, and they do a good job. And then you get some melodic rock slash metal pop. but. It all just has a, a nice sound, a very um, kind of upbeat sound, even though like the, some of the lyrics and stuff are kind of dark, you know, some of the, the themes and whatnot that they're talking about. But as far as the sound goes, it all has kind of a, a brightness to it. And I think a, a large part of that is because of her voice. She just has a very uh, delicate, a very... Uh, pure sound to her voice and and that really benefits some of the the melodies here and it, it just really kind of uh it's infectious uh, you know that's the best way i can say it. this album is very infectious to where you're just kind of listening to it and just really enjoying the the the, the feeling the the vibe um and uh what can i say you know i'm, I'm a sucker sometimes when it comes to like a, a, a melodic metal with uh, some pop influences and you know I, I, I can't help but but kind of enjoy some of that and some of the some of the pop elements are take me back to, to kind of like a 2000s kind of sound um, you know with with the pop vibes um, I'll say so that's that's really what you can expect it now the musicianship is all done really well the, the songwriting is, is done really well but but nothing really stands out on its own you know there, there's never like any crazy like guitar stuff or you know everything just kind of blends together really well to, to create kind of like a singular sound uh, nice melodies um, nice uh, atmosphere you know when they're going for kind of like the 80s style or you know whatever it has a good atmosphere good good sound to it but nothing really like jumps out where it's like oh man uh, the, the, the keyboards in this album are, are just absolutely phenomenal. Or like the guitar in this album is absolutely phenomenal. Or the drums. You know, nothing really jumps out. It, it just all kind of creates a, a, a nice sound um, depending on what style the, the song is. Um, and then again, her, her vocals, she really captures the spirit and energy of, of like the 80s melodic rock songs, but then also the more delicate, more poppy kind of style of, of some of the other songs. So it, it's just a very, very interesting album, uh, to say the least, and it, it kind of fluctuates through those genres. And that would be my, my one critique is a, a little, I, I think a little bit more focus would have done the album really well, like fusing the the sounds and, and the styles you know into more of a singular sound uh, I, I think would really really give the band a, a unique signature and and just a, a more like stable core sound throughout because as it is you never really know what to expect from one song to the next and um you know it's like i like a lot of the songs and you know i, I dig the sound but you know, it, you kind of wish sometimes that it just had a little bit more of a, a consistent direction. Um, and, and I really think that would have benefited the album quite a bit. 
But, uh, you know, with that being said, though, still, um, I, you know, I think there's definitely a, a wide audience that would enjoy this album, but it's hard for me to, to really um, pinpoint the genres, uh, you know, uh, of, of like people that would like this album because again, you know, it, it starts out with like this, this 80s, like melodic rock, hard rock kind of vibe. Um, so it's like those kind of folks who, who like that sound, they'll be like, oh man, this is great. But then it drifts into a very um, melodic uh, pop metal uh, vibes. And then sometimes it just almost outright just pop songs um like melodic rock pop songs pop rock I, I, you know i don't know so it, it just varies so finding you know an audience that likes all of these styles um yeah, yeah i'm not sure like i do uh so i i did enjoy the sound um and uh but i, I think if they were able to to kind of just fuse the these styles like into into one sound and have just more of a, a solid direction through the album i really think that would benefit but at the end of the day you know a solid uh um, release here uh from the folks over at my own ghost uh, definitely a, a unique band a, a unique sound i wasn't quite sure what to expect and uh, it was very interesting but i did enjoy it um, didn't blow me away. Like I said, I, I think a little more focus would have gone a long way. But um, but yeah, you know, I, I admire their um, their their sound. I, I admire their um, uh, like vision, and I would just like to see a little bit more focus, you know, in, in future releases. But I definitely think they have something here, something that sets them apart from the crowd, without a doubt. And uh, like I said, you know, I, I can't, you know, I, I think uh, track 11, Dark River, um, is probably my favorite song, um, but I, I like a lot of the songs here. And it's just very catchy, very melodic, very infectious, and like I said, very easy to listen to. And, uh, you know, you just kind of have it on. And, and yeah, like I said, it, it, some of it had just kind of like a cheery kind of vibe even though some of the lyrics are, are kind of darker and just kind of interesting. But uh, but they have little interesting nuanced stuff here and there, like uh, track six, number 2110. Uh, in the beginning, it almost sounds like a number station kind of rattling off numbers and, and this and that. But then, you know, talking about, you know, we are not just numbers. Uh, it's it just very, very interesting um, uh, album uh, here. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know if any of that sounds um, like your cup of tea or, you know, intrigues you. Uh, I do recommend the album, uh, but just know what you're getting into. Uh, know that there's some, like, 80s melodic rock, hard rock sound. There's some more poppy kind of sounds uh, in the melodic rock slash metal. Um, and hey, it's nothing that's in your face. It, it just is a nice album to, to listen to, a nice sound, they, they create nice atmosphere, a lot of the, the music is kind of on the brighter side and, and her voice really contributes to that very well, so yeah, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really uh, blow my mind or anything, but, but yeah, you know, it was a nice listen, and uh, I think they're onto something here, it's just if they could refine it a little bit. I think some future releases could, could be really, really cool. Um, but uh, as it stands, yeah, I enjoyed the album. Um, yeah, as far as the song, I'm honestly not sure. If I were to give you one song to decide whether you want to hear the whole album or not, it's really, really difficult because, again, the, the varied nature of, of the whole album. But... Uh, and maybe, maybe Jet Black Heartbreak, uh, track three, um, would be a decent one. Or, or maybe if you listen to that in conjunction with Shadow in Your Room, which I believe they released that one as a, a single. Uh, so one of those, just to give you an idea of the sound um, and see if you want to hear the whole album. But yeah, so that's My Own Ghost um, with uh, Shadow People. 
and uh, just a very very interesting album. So I, I recommend it, it for that respect. That easy to listen to, nice infectious, catchy melodies, um, kind of a bright sound, uh, but you could definitely dig deeper into some of the darker lyrics. Uh, so that that uh, contrast is, is kind of interesting, uh, and and just for the the unique kind of nature of the, of the album. So. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you listen to this uh, bad boy and uh, what you think of it. Uh, I'd be curious to know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there you have it. That's my thoughts on that. And I'll thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Ranger.